Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here. Just wanted to give you a quick run through of my EDC gear for February 2015. Uh, it's unlikely you're going to find absolutely all these items on me at any one time, but the majority of them will be, and there's a bit of rotation as per usual. So let's start off, uh, get right into it with the things that haven't changed. Um, I'm still going to say that this is going to change soon because I'm getting really fed up with this huge, fat, horrible leather fossil wallet. I'm actually waiting for one of the new um, Recycle Firefighter bifold wallets and uh, hopefully get my hands on one of them soon. They keep selling out as fast as you can make them. So definitely check out his products. There's some cool stuff. Just uh, Google Recycled Firefighter. So looking to get one of those wallets soon. Uh, the watch I've been wearing mostly is this Nixon Player, the all black version. Sorry for the glare on the screen there. And uh, just a nice solid watch. Uh, really nice band on this. Very comfortable to wear and quite stylish too, so that's the watch. Uh, keys, truck keys, just as per usual. Um, the only thing I've added to this is there's a lockable S-Biner on there and this uh, Night Eyes doohickey, which is a little pocket tool I picked up recently. And it just has some basic tools, box opener, flathead screwdriver, uh, ruler on there and a couple of hex wrenches. So just testing that out, see if I like it. It of course is its own carabiner, so that's quite handy. And uh, yeah, just quite unobtrusive little tool, nice and thin. Just testing that out, and uh, I might do a review on that or a couple of pocket tools in the near future. Um, let's move over here to blades. So I'm changing between two blades for my main one um, the Ontario Rat One. Always a favourite, hard use blade. As you can see, the black coating on this has taken a bit of a beating, but this knife refuses to die no matter what I do with it. So. Yeah, really nice, really fast deploying knife, uh, Aussie steel, quite a big blade for my EDC, Taiwan made, just a solid knife, really good ergonomics, nice thumb ramp on it there, and I'll put a link in the description to a video discussing this knife that I did uh, a month or two ago. Uh, my other main EDC blade is the Zero Tolerance 0566, this is the black wash carbon fiber version, you can see the number there in the blade and uh, yeah I did receive this not too long ago I did an unboxing video again I'll put a link to that there's a full review coming soon I'm uh, just waiting for a custom scale for it actually before I do that you can see the carbon fiber there really nice look and the black wash blade full black wash stainless uh, frame lock Elmac steel nice CDC size uh, really good ergonomics on this lovely cutting blade. Uh, but a nice strong jimping on the top there. Really locks into your hand. So yep, yeah, that's my other main blade. So I tend to switch between those two. Uh, secondary blade for small blade would be this one. Picked this up recently. This is a Kershaw Centifanti Onion uh, collaboration. Uh, really nice little blade. Speed safe assisted as you can see there. Just flies right out. Uh, lovely Warncliffe shape. Let's see if we can get this to focus here. Nice andized aluminum handles. Again, did a review on this recently. I'll post the link in the description so you don't need to go searching if you want to look that up. Really nice little blade. Love the way it flies out there. Not normally a fan of assisted blades, but uh, yeah, that's a beauty and uh, takes up absolutely no pocket real estate. So slim, so lightweight. Lovely little knife. Um, down here, Swiss Army knife, tend to have this in the bottom of my pocket, this is the climber. And I've gone through all this before, I won't bore you again, just the basic tools, two knife blades, can opener, bottle opener, corkscrew, tweezers, all that stuff. Um, another product that I've been testing out recently is this, which is the KeySmart 2.0 key organizer. And uh, I actually just posted a review on that just before this video, so go check that out. I've got a link in the description. Uh, I'm quite liking this. It's a way to keep your keys neat and uh, stop the jangling around in your pocket. Uh, I just have a basic power cord lanyard on there with a uh, uh, anodized titanium bead. So that's key smart. Uh, flashlight is new this time around. This is the Coast G19. Uh, small inspection flashlight. Got a really nice focus beam as you can see. Uh, lovely little light. Um, Really strong, sturdy construction, reversible pocket clip, and uh, tail tail cap switch there, as you can see. I'm not actually going to do a review on this. Uh, a buddy of mine, Weeder fan, actually did a full review on this recently, and his was 
so thorough there's just no need for me to do another one so what I'm going to do is put a link to his review in the description, go check that out check out his channel, he's a lot of cool stuff on there and uh, yes a really nice little light and uh, go get his take on it as well last thing we have here, a couple of paracord bracelets um, I don't wear one a lot but I have been wearing a little bit recently and it's been between these two just the basic uh, basic styles here, I won't go into this too much because I'm actually just going to be kicking off a new series of paracord tutorials on bracelet making so be sure to check that out, I already have a playlist of simple paracord techniques for doing knots and weaves uh, so go check those out as well and uh, yeah bracelet videos coming soon so that's it guys, don't think I missed anything, just a basic run through if you see anything here you'd like more info on or like me to do uh, another video on or anything like that just let me know in the comments let me know your thoughts and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one